What is up, Internet Digirex here, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new Void Bastards video. And in today's Void Bastards video, we are going to be taking a look at Kitty Bots. So, Kitty Bots are the second device that you unlock within Void and Bastards. And basically, what they are, they're little distractor drones that enemies get caught on. Uh, they will fire at them, and then once the Kitty Bots' health runs out, they explode. So, this is just going to be a general overview and guide for the Kitty Bots. So like I said, kitty bots are the second device that you can get within the game. So you get them fairly early and what you need to craft them is the control collar. So there are pet carrier ships throughout the nebula and of course they have the little kitty logo on them. Um, so that is where you can get the control collar from and it's a distracting robotic cat that explodes when destroyed as I said. And then there's only one upgrade called the unstable kitty. And this releases cluster flak bombs on death. So it's the exact same thing, still a distracting thing. But as soon as the kitty bot's health is depleted, it's a cluster flak instead of a normal explosion. So the cluster flaks are humongous explosions. Um, pretty crazy. They're kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it. There's multiple explosions. A lot of grenades go everywhere. It gets pretty damn heated. And for that upgrade, you need a juice cookbook and duct tape. So, there's also one more upgrade called the Kitty Hunter, which is a branch off of the original Kitty Bot. And Robo Kitties can be found in CNT client services, and that requires a Robo Manual and a Mouse Ball. And uh, that just makes it so it is easier to find Kitty Bots. Kitty Bots distract practically all enemies, although they will not distract things like Sec Bots or watchers or turrets they will not distract the ship's security system they own they like any machines it will not distract it will only distract enemies and of course pup bots will chase the kitty bots around just a cool little easter egg there uh kitty bots also should not really be used like bushwhackers or bangers kitty bots should be used to distract so you can run past enemies although the uh Cluster flak kitties, once you get your upgrade, can be used pretty aggressively as their explosion is huge. We just need to make sure that you are not in the way of when a kitty bot explodes because, of course, your own explosives in this game can hurt you. I would use kitty bots to try to get around a large group of enemies or zex. They are pretty good on sometimes the kitty bot can get around the zek before it explodes and can do some good damage. But they're, for the most part, a distraction. Like I said, I wouldn't use them too crazy aggressively. You can also shoot kitty bots on your own to deplete some of their health. So if a kitty bot is low and next to an enemy, you can shoot it yourself to finish it off. It does go in the device category, however, and it is one of the weaker devices. It makes it a little bit hard for me to recommend, especially since you have bushwhackers and bangers that you can already carry around, which act as some pretty damn powerful explosives. So I would honestly not really use key bots as an explosive, an aggressive explosive, just because uh, they're pretty inconsistent. Sometimes they won't explode near enemies, sometimes the enemies will shoot them from far away, and it is just a very big clusterfuck. Honestly, bangers, bushwhackers, or cluster flak uh, would be a lot better if you want to do heavy damage to people. These things are just decent distractions. But, of course, there are things like the Rifter and the Zapper in that category where you can zap enemies and just run by them or you can rift enemies away uh, to get around them. That could possibly work a lot better. Of course, there's also the Scrambler in this uh, category also in the Scrambler turns enemies into allies which is extremely extremely useful and kind of does the same thing because after you turn them into allies the enemies will be shooting at your ally your ally will be shooting at enemies causing another type of distraction so honestly kitty bots might be a decent first upgrade but i would honestly not focus too much on upgrading them to their next stage as they just aren't the best device they're decent but they're really not too too good Overall, you can use them to get around bigger enemies and large groups of enemies, but there are some things that can do this a little bit better. Like I said, Zapper is really good, Rifter is good, and then of course there are other explosives in the game that are more convenient and honestly just beat out the kitty bots in general. Um, kitty bots, very niche. I would only use them occasionally, maybe if a security system is disabled, because of course the security system doesn't attack them either. So it's a little bit, they're, they're not the greatest thing in the game. 
Um, like I said, pretty easy first craft if you can scavenge a good amount of them, maybe. But uh, overall, would not recommend, would probably recommend using something different in that slot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and please feel free to comment if you disagree about kitty bots. Personally, I don't love them that much. They're cool, um, but they just do not do the job as, some, as well as some of the other devices and explosives in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Didrex. Peace.